Now we're talking about uh, the, how quiet uh, town is. Well, Galway Chamber of Commerce are uh, leading out indeed. Its former president, uh, Morris O'Gorman, joins me uh, this morning. Morris, good morning to you. But it's, it's about growing in and growing with Galway and uh, and recovery really, Morris, isn't it? Uh, it is, Keith. Good morning to you and I hope you're well and all your family are. Um, yes, what we're looking at is, is Galway is um, a very multi uh, cult- Um, city. Um, according to the CSO, 19% of our residents were, were not born on the island of Ireland. And what we're doing is we're trying to reach out to um, the employees of our members um, to talk to them about their experiences of coming to Galway, um, how they integrated into life in Galway, and how they'd like to participate further. And what will you do with this information then? Is, is Will this give you the tools to come up with um, a concept where you can attract them into Galway further? Yeah, I mean, that's a really important thing, uh, Keith, is, is you know, in a, in a knowledge-based economy, we need to keep attracting people to come uh, to come here. Uh, this morning's uh, announcement of an additional 200 jobs, um, were, you know, some of those jobs will come from abroad and we need to uh, ensure that Galway is very attractive to them. Um, you know, for, for example, Galway... Uh, our island is is ahead of the UK and the US in the global talent competitive index, but you know it it it, it remains be, it falls behind some other countries. So we need to make sure that we are as attractive as possible for the talent we need to grow the industries that we want in Goa. And then what are the qualities that you think people will be looking for? Is it job prospects? Is it promotion prospects? Is it the social life they will have? Is it the educational process? Is it housing? What What do you think will come top of the pile there? I think the first thing is job prospects. I think that's that's what that's what initially attracts people, and we found this also even for people starting their business because they're attracted to an area where they can start a business, but you know they're also aware that they may need to find a job at some point. So they want to live in places where there's there's a, a constant availability of jobs. The second part then is it has to be a nice place to live. So they have to feel welcomed and valued. They have to be able to find accommodation. But simple things, what we, we'd like to use this information to make in the integration and uh, uh, easier so people can find, you know, a single source where they can look at how do they get a PPSN number, how do they get a driving license, how do they tune in to Galway BFM uh, as their default on the car radio. All of those things we want to put in one place so, um, you know, new voices, new people coming to Galway and those people already in Galway can can have that uh, access to resource which lets them get over those Small, uh, uh, those those little things in life that you just need to get on and done to get done. Um, we were speaking earlier on to Skillnet's Galway indeed, and uh, Margaret Cox, and she was looking for product builders um, for some of the medtech industries and of course that she's doing there. Um, but we're blessed to have um, so many multinational uh, companies in Galway. So. This study that you're doing, if they all participate or some of them participate at least, uh, will give you a very clear picture. It will. It will give us a very clear picture, and and we've al- already started. And prior to the survey, we talked to uh, a number of people who about their experiences of coming to Galway. Uh, one of the things we did find from that, and this is you know just anecdotal from speaking to them, is they found um, sort of the the integration into society, into organisation, clubs, um, a little bit difficult and to understand what was going on when and how they could join. So we want to make that, you know, that transition into the community as, as easy as possible. And as you say, the, 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 you know, the multinationals are multicultural. And so they're attracting talent from all over as, as, as well as growing our, our indigenous talent. But uh, when the, we want to make sure that when medical device or technology companies, when they put up, advertisements that people recognise go and say that's a place where I want to live and again I suppose the availability of um, living accommodation of education institutions 
and and the progression there. And I suppose the other aspect of this is going to be that if one member of a relationship wants to come and locate in Galway, there has to be something for the second person if there's a second person and family in the relationship as well. So that's that's more infrastructure. Yeah, it has. To, I mean, look, it's an all it's a it's a package. You know, I mean, the the um, people won't come if housing is a problem. People won't come if if getting uh, children into schools is a problem. Um, so all all of this needs to be factored in, and and that's what we're going to use the survey for is looking at you know future Galway. What do we need? Where do we need it? What type of people are we attracting in? Are they are they younger people who want to live in the city centre? Um, are they you know sort of more mature people who want to live in the suburbs and um, you know and have children? So you know we're trying to gauge you know what talent is being attracted in. And, and what will be attracted, and, and what what are their requirements? But absolutely, infrastructure is is absolutely key. Um, you know, we regularly talk to FDI companies that are looking at Galway to set up their base. Just just as Diligent did uh, announce today, and when we're talking to them, that's one of the things that comes up is well, how easy how easy is it for our employees to um, secure accommodation? How, e- how easy is it for them to get their children into schools? What's the variety of schools that are available? And then, you know, other things like, well, what happens? What, what, what do people do on the weekend? Um, now, we're blessed in Galway. I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful place and there's lots to do. Um, and, and, and people are attracted to that as well. But the, I'd say in, in the, the primary things they're looking for is jobs, availability of jobs, um, and uh, accommodation uh, uh, and schooling for children if they have any. And I'd say a lifestyle as well. Oh, lifestyle is a big thing, and especially if you're young coming to live in Galway, it's a, you know there's the, it's it's a great place to be. Um, but lifestyle does you know it, I think it does come lower down on the list, but I mean it, it, it's definitely there. Uh, and we've we've obviously a lot to offer for anyone um, coming from. You know, if you were coming from London or you come from Paris or any of the big cities, you know, Galway is just a totally different way of life and it has so much to offer from a lifestyle perspective, whether it be getting up for a, a morning dip uh, in Galway Bay or, or walking the burn or, you know, there's so much to do. Um, so lifestyle does play an important part. But as I say, it's the economic base that really is the big attractor. Um, um, and then, you know, the infrastructure part of it is, well, where am I going to live? Where do my children go to school? So um, we, we, we often have discussions with the, the foreign direct investment companies about this. Um, and what they always say is, well, you know, we'd love to be in Galway, but all these other things have to work. Yeah. Uh, you know, it can't just be about lifestyle. We, we, we have to make sure that we can bring our employees here. They will want to live here. And that means they need to get, um, you know, they need to get good accommodation they need to be able to get their children to school if you if they require it, and and lifestyle comes a bit lower down uh, um, because you know that that won't necessarily keep people happy in their in their jobs if they can't find somewhere to live. All right. When do you think you'll have a, a final result from, from the survey? I'd say in about four weeks' time we'll have collated all the information and you know we'll start you know disseminating it then. All right, Marcel Gorman, thank you for joining us uh, from Galway Chamber. Uh, indeed, uh, former President of Galway Chamber, but thank you indeed uh, for uh, uh, joining us uh, today. Uh, so, if you're listening to us in one of those multinationals and you've been asked to partake in that survey, you might just be good enough to do it and do it today and get the results back in. 